Hi, hello everyone. Hi, happy Sunday. Welcome to VC Ski Fitness. I'm Vivian Fonseca. And, and I, I'm Tara <laughs> Brown. <laughs> okay, so before we started, we, we are talking, we are uh, announcing all the week about the prize. Uh, the winner, you're going to receive a pair of ski. We'll be announcing at 12 o'clock. Aha, so 12 o'clock on Facebook and Edis Brigham. You can check the winner. So don't miss it. Your opportunity to have a pair of ski. <laughs> Okay, Cara, please give me your uh, little bit more explanation about the technique, uh, ski technique, what you are doing today, please. Okay, so today we are going to be doing something that you might not expect for a skiing workout, but we are going to be doing some upper body stuff, which I know sounds crazy because you ski down the hill on your legs, but trust me with this one, it is super important that you keep your upper body balance with your lower body when you're skiing because it's all well and great that now your legs are super strong and you've been doing all our workouts and your balance and coordination is great but you've got to make sure your upper body balances out with that too and all of this actually ties into what we've been building up to over the past few weeks so if you look back on our previous sessions you'll remember that we talk about our ankles our knees our hips and then we did a little bit of strength and then we spoke about our core so you'll see that we're working our way up the body and now we finally reached the top of the body and Vivian's going to explain to you why all these things are connected and why they are so important. Yes. So before we started, I know if you what she's, she's holding her hands. So this is a, I mean, this is like a, it's a broom, if you just let you know. I just detached the broom here, this part of the broom. And then you will literally, uh, what you need is a stick, okay? So I am using a broom. If you have some stick, Kara, she's the professional one. She used like literally the, <laughs> the I've got my ski pole. So if you guys have ski poles, that'll work. <laughs> so you see, broom is ski pole. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are like me at home with a broom, it's fine. It's going to work, okay? Or if you don't have any broom, like mop, something else, but something that you be the same like uh, weight both sides. So you have to detach one side to be the same both sides, okay? So why I'm talking about this, just go there, find something quick, and come back here in front of the screen to start our session. So today we are talking about upper body, lower body, how everything connects together, and we go for our warm up. Uh, I'll give you more 30 seconds for you. Uh, while you are looking for something at your home or the place you are doing this workout, I've just opened my screen. Kara, she's the other side, and I'm here. You see, the internet is amazing this time. Okay, so let's go for it. So, did you get something? Your stick here. Uh, twist time, we do like some warm up, and the warm up, I wanted that you use your stick. Okay, as I said, Nothing one side more like heavier the other side or the same the same thing for both sides. Okay, so legs apart. You have to hold your stick this way, like wider than your shoulders. Extend your arms, bend your knees, and give like have you have it to stay in like a stretch position. Yes, and then go from one side, other side, and. Go in the middle, you have to breathe out, lift your arms up and go back to your legs. Okay, ready? Let's go. One and two and three. Don't move your trunk. Let's start to coordinate your core with your upper body, okay? And up and up and five and four and three and two and one okay rotation so move one side both arms totally extended one side middle other side rotation attention to your hips you don't move your hips just upper body keep your body straight and strong rotation and five and four and three and two and one, again, inhale, exhaling, one, and two, 
and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. One more big, big movement. Okay, now you have to move to the side, like going down one side, up, other side, up. Bend a little bit your knees. Don't keep your legs straight. Bend, knees bent, side, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, now hands on the front. Let's start it. So relax your shoulders first. Why lower body, upper body together here? Attention. To have better performance, lower body, upper body needs to coordinate here, okay? To be coordinated. In the center of your, the link of two parts of your body is your core, okay? So if you to have better performance, performance when you're going all the way down on the mountain, you have to coordinate what you're doing up, upper body with your lower body. So pay attention here. Now, let's do, uh, work in our coordination core strength, and a little bit our upper body strength, okay? Because when you stay in the position, you see we start to feel your shoulders burning. So hands apart, the same distance as your shoulders stay here. Now let's go for a ski position, circle navel in, shoulders back and down. You are here, okay? Attention. So upper body, lower body connected. You are here straight and strong. Your lower body in ski position, your legs in ski position, your core engaged. Stay here, don't move. What you have to do, you have to breathe out, lift your stick above your head. You don't move lower body and back here. Again, breathe out. Everything. Ever do everything you do when you're contracting your muscles, you have to breathe out. And five, don't squeeze your shoulders, open your chest. And three. And two. And one more. Well done. Stay here, hands here, totally straight. Okay, arms straight, thumbs pointing in. You have now to use lower body with upper body together. So you have to go halfway down with your hands and halfway up with your leg, okay? You have to touch your knee on your stick. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, half of half, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now let's try to keep our hands here. The challenge is to move your knee higher. Don't move your upper body here, okay? And it's a metric position, you are, you are, you are holding your stick. Second level here, let's go. One, two, three. Attention to your hips. Keep the same position. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay here. Now we go in squat position all the way down. When you go up, you have to extend your arms together. Inhale, exhaling. Inhale, exhaling. Inhale, exhaling. Inhale. Exhaling and four, press on your heels and two, arms totally straight and one. Okay, stay here in squat position. Now you will start to do rotation. Okay, so now we go in diagonal. Pay attention here. One, back in the center. Two, you don't move your hips, you don't move your legs. Stay in squat position. <sighs> 10, you just move, 
navel up, your navel line up. Rotate to the side, up. Rotate, you're using your core, you're using your shoulders, you're using your legs to keep supporting all your body weight. Five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one, up. Stay here, don't move. Now, attention. Can you see my heels? Now let's go on your toes. Lift your heels off the floor and back. You stay here in the position. Two, body alignment, alignment. You have to stay in the position to keep your body alignment, to work on your posture. Up and back. Breathe out, breathe in. Five, four, three, Two, one, well done, relax. <sighs> Could you feel a little bit your shoulders? Could you feel color a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so what happened here? We are using upper body and lower body. Sometimes lower body just in symmetric position, just contracting. Sometimes lower body in contract and isometric when you just stay contracting like still. The other part is doing the movement, but both sides are doing some work here, okay? So what do you have to do now? Attention. I will do on my side for you to understand here. We have to step back and at the same time, extend your arm, okay? This exercise is for body alignment to improve your posture, connect your core, and have better shoulder mobility when you're moving your arm up in the same time coordinating with the lower body, okay? Ready? Yes, yeah, a lot of things in one movement. And three, and legs this way, hands the same uh, distance as the shoulders, okay? Here, five, four, three, two, one. Just left leg go back and uh, uh, just step forward to the beginning here, like in parallel, okay? And three, and two, and one, let's go. One, back here, the same side. Two, don't change your leg. And three, and four, press on your heel, is on the floor. Five, breathe out when you lift your, heart, your hands up. And four more, and three, and two, and one, other side, the same way, ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Attention to your posture, seven, eight, extend your arms, nine, and 10, well done. Attention, what do you have to do? Hands here, open a little bit more here. Okay, wider. What do you have to do? You have to go down one side, up, extend on the top, okay? So hands like apart, we have it to work in rotation. This is the center of power when you have it to link upper, lower together. So let's do rotation, it's very important. And let's work a little bit our shoulders mobility here, okay? Three, two, one. One, up. Two, up. A squat and lift it up, a squat, breathe out, breathe out, arms totally straight, strong, and four, three, two, one more, last one. Let's do a little bit more faster. 
Ready? And three, and two, and one. Let's go. One, up. Two, up. Inhale, exhale. Down, up. Down, up. Go deeper with your hands. Keep your arms straight and strong. Breathe out. <sighs> Hips back. Press on your heels. Rotate your trunk. Don't move your hips. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Okay, stay here. Hands above your head. Attention, everyone. Now you have to do two exercises here, okay? Two movements. The first one is you have to step back and come back here, easy. The second one, you stay here, your, your knee go to the side, point it to the side, lift your knee up and back here, okay? So you do 10, back, 10 to the side. Three, two, one, let's go. One, the same side. Two, body alignment. Three, four, you don't, you don't need to go all the way down with your knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Now attention, let's activate more our core. Yes, let's go. One, two, don't move your hips. Three, extend your arms, open your chest, up, 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 back to the center, up, up, lift your knee up, up, other side, ready, step backwards, let's go, lunges, one, but don't go all the way down, two, hands up, four, don't give up, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, to the side. One, two, three. Don't move your hands. Four, straight, strong. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Well done, everyone. Relax your shoulders. Oof. Let's go. Floor. I'll just push my camera down. And let's go to the floor. Are you okay? Everybody okay? Are you okay? Carla? Surviving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go to the floor. I didn't tell you before, but, but if you have some towel or something close to you or mat, Perfect to when you sit on the floor because we have to sit and after lay down, okay? Attention, everyone. Legs apart, shoulders back and down. We have to work in our shoulder mobility, our posture, core strength, everything together, okay? So hands apart, more than, wider than your shoulders at the distance here, okay? Posture, sit on your hips, bones, this way. Lift your arms up, 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 up. I'm just go backwards for you to see my hands, to watch my hands. Extend, open your chest. Now, go back, lay back a little bit your trunk. Attention, you cannot feel your uh, pain on your lower back, okay? You have to stay here, but you have to feel just activating core and your, your shoulders here with your hands on the top. Stay here. And slowly, you have to extend your right leg or your left, go down, touch, and back here. Touch your leg, back here. You don't move more your trunk. You have just to move your arms and your legs. 10, back here. Nine, posture, open your chest. Eight, seven, six, 
Breathe out. Five, four, shoulders down. Three, two, one. Stay here. Now you have it to go to the side, rotate to one side and back in the center. Other side, back in the center. One side, center. Hold your stick. Other side, center. 10, nine, eight. If it's easy, you can go a little bit lower with your, your trunk, okay? And your hips on the floor. Heels on the floor. Two more. One more. Well done. Stay here. Attention. Now you have to do the, what? You have to go now on your side rotating, but on your side, we have to touch one side of your stick on the floor, back in the center. Other side on the floor, back in the center. You don't go forward, okay? You keep the same alignment. One side, back in the center. If it's easy, you just need to lay back. Side, center, side, center, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now move your shoulders, your oh, shoulders down, hands in the same line with your chest. Lift a little bit your trunk, stay here. Extend your right leg, now you have to activate core, leg, and keep and shoulder stability all the time here, okay? Let's go. Lift your leg up and back. Two and back. Three and back. Four and back. Five and back. Six and back. Seven and back. Eight, back. Nine, arm extended. One more. Okay, other side. One, two, don't move your trunk. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, everyone. Lay down on your back. Let's go now for something a little bit more challenge for your rotation, coordination, okay? When you work on your core, leg, and upper body all together, okay? So basically, you put your hands above your head here, extend both legs. You have to move your legs. The first one is easy, okay? Just straight tall. Everything together and extend. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, four, four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, stay here. Now let's move our arms on the sides in rotation, okay? So you try to go all the way on the side or touch your stick on your foot and back here. One side, it's core. Its coordination is about body al alignment, okay? To align, put your body in alignment. Three and four and five. Breathe out, out, eight, Nine, 10. Okay, stay here. Keep your arms completely straight, strong here. Core, coordination, body alignment. One more exercise, okay? So basically, yes, you have to move both legs, touch the floor. Attention. If you have your core very weak, you have to go one side or the leg, okay? One, like one leg, after, uh, you, after that, you move your second leg. Otherwise, on the leg, you go together. Okay, so stay here. Arms is straight and strong. Middle, other side. It's very difficult, trust me. Up, 
other side. Don't move your arms. Up, other side. Up, other side. Up, rotation, both knees together. Together, up, other side. Go, 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 go. Other side, touch. Both knees together. Two more. Go, 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 go. Hands on the top. Go, 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 go. One more. Go, 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 go. And the last one. Perfect. Extend your arms, your legs. Big stretching. Attention to finish. If you have your core is not strong enough, don't do full movement, okay? You just do halfway, just do this, so. But if you can, if you are like stronger, you're working your core lo uh, longer, you have to, uh, long, a long time, you have to do this, so. Hands apart, a little bit wider than your shoulders. You have to inhale. When you exhale, everything together up, go and touch your stick on your feet, on your toes. Ready? Extend. Just down to finish. Ready? Three, two, one. One. Extend. Two. Extend. Three. Arms above your head. Four. Five. Attention, if it's difficult for you, just go halfway. Okay? Six. Three more. Two more. The last one. Finish! Woohoo! Well done. Attention, let's stretch. Kaya, let's stretch. After that, more like tips for you with Cara Brown. Okay, stick on the side, less stretch. So hold your knees, relax. Oof. Attention uh, for upper body in our workout, extend the right leg, hold your left. Now you hold uh, your uh, left, uh, if you extend the right, hold with your right hand, your left knee, the other hand or other arm extended, okay? Crossing on one leg extend, one arm extended. So and then our, I was explaining to you before, our workout, upper body, like um, shoulders, mobility, everything, we use like a, a big strap, okay? Elastic band. So because today we have to improvise and do something more different just for everybody can enjoy because I know you don't have everybody here elastic band the last minute. So you, you are using this stick because you can do whatever you go, like some will use some like easy equipment just to do your workout, okay? So you can use your one stick. And crossover, hand on the side. You can use your ski pole. Right, Kara? Yeah, yeah, I was using a slalom pole. <laughs> it's because uh, we're at a slalom race tomorrow, so we have the poles here. Other one, hold it. So now you have to hold the other hand of opposite leg and extend. Cross. Today was just a little example about uh, posture, body alignment, about how you coordinate upper body, lower body together with your core, connecting both parts of your body. So if you go to our workout, you can see like full workout with a lot of movements just to improve your coordination, stability, your alignment for you to have better performance because your body work in connection. Nothing you do with your lower body or upper body is alone. You have to use both, uh, both sides coordinated to have your movement, like per your perfect movement, okay? So both sides, more coordination between both parts, better improvement. And turn over, sit on your heels in child pose. 
I know a lot of people here, they didn't have an idea for well, upper body for ski. Yes. <laughs> More coordination between both parts, upper body, lower body, with your core connecting in the middle. Your core is the center of your power. Your perform performance, you be completely different. Right, Kara? Exactly. Mm. Okay, back. <laughs> Just sit, big stretch in here. Go from one side, other side, in the middle, and roll your shoulders back and down. Okay, Kara is with you now. So thank you very much, Vivian, for that workout. I was definitely feeling my shoulders burning, so I hope you guys were too. So as you saw, I was doing the workout with a ski pole and I was feeling the burn in my shoulders. So you can imagine, that even though your leg, you might be feeling your legs more, actually when you're skiing around, just the weight of holding your poles in your hands is working your shoulder muscles. And if any of you have done ski lessons before, then one of the things that the instructor will have kept saying to you is keep your hands up, keep your hands up. They want you to ski with your hands here, right? Not with your hands here. So it's really important we have the strength to keep them here. Now, if you're wondering, why does my instructor keep telling me to keep my hands up? Well, hopefully he's actually explained to you, while you why you're doing that. But if he hasn't, the reason's really simple. If you're in your skiing position and your hands are up, you're balanced, okay? Weight is through the center forward part of my foot and I'm in a good skiing stance. Whereas as soon as my arms drop down, what you'll find is that your weight immediately drops to your hips and drops backwards. So that is why they always tell you to keep your hands up and if you watch racers skiing and other good skiers, you'll find that they ski with their hands here. They might be a bit all over the place, but they're always in front of them. They're never down below their hips. So, yes, that is your skiing tip for upper body. <laughs> yeah. So just is a, is a little bit like is a curiosity uh, for everyone is just have a look, not just the ski, all the sports you are staying, you will have to move. Like you have to coordinate upper body, lower body, everything. Even though like you're shooting, do everything. Your lower body needs to be stable to use your to be more precise upper body. Or if you're doing basketball, volleyball, running, running, people just run like with arms this way. They don't have the same performance because it's about biomechanic. Okay, so you have to work at at this kind of things. This point of your your workout is very important for you really go for this level, the average level for the high level, because I know here everybody wants to go good on the slopes, right? You wanted to perform very well. Even you're just going for fun. Everybody wanted to be good on the slopes, right, Cara? I want exactly. to, you want to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think actually, unfortunately, we have a little bit of bad news today. And that is that today is our last Ski Fit Sunday with Ellis Brigham. Um, so thank you so much for joining the five sessions that we've done. And thank you for Ellis Brigham for putting them on. We've loved doing these for you. But in good news, if you guys have been enjoying the sessions, then we would love for you to go and check out the ones on our website on bcskifitness.com, where we have everything we've shown you, but loads more in more details. Yeah, loads of sessions. Um, so we'd it's love to do that. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we wanted to add, so yeah, Vivian said we've got some awesome prizes coming up. We're going to announce the winners at midday today on the Ellis Brigham Facebook page. So make sure you just log into Facebook um, and Vivian and I will be drawing them live. You've got vocal skis, you've got an Ellis Brigham voucher, and you've got a free VC Ski Fitness workout package. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy it uh, a lot. <laughs> and you, you never thought you could use a broom like your part of your workout, you see. Uh, it's, uh, we have like, like a lot of possibilities to have like a good workout using things at your home, home to, to do something for you to improve your ski uh, workout. And then go to our website, Get our workout plan with all the exercise, everything. I guarantee, I can guarantee, people are doing the guarantee 
you go for the other level. If you never did this before, never skipped before, so it's the time you learn it, okay? So thank you very much. Midday, 12 o'clock, just check it out. We'll be live for you to announce the winner. And thank you very much and see you soon. Right, Cara? And yeah, I'll work out. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Alice Brigham. And bye-bye. Have a good Sunday, 12 o'clock. The winner. Bye-bye, 12 midday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.